This week, Senator Bernie Sanders referred to the American Rescue Plan as, quote, the most significant piece of legislation to help working people that has been passed by Congress in decades. And seeming to agree, human frat paddle Matt Gates said it's a Trojan horse for socialism. It is everything Democrats have wanted, wrapped and branded in coronavirus. These sorts of debates are important, but Matt Gates was busy with Nestor and Cabo San Lucas. So we are going to the next best thing here to have a, a debate about the bill is Senator Bernie Sanders and the CEO of My Pillow, Mike Lindell. First off, general thoughts about the bill, Bernie Sanders. <clears throat> yeah, okay, thank you. Oh, it's good to be here. Thank you, John. Uh, first, I do want to say that I will be voting against the confirmation of general thoughts uh, to be the chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, <laughs> so, I, now that you've brought that up. Look, I think this legislation is fantastic. I think this legislation is some of the boldest progressive legislation helping American working families in decades. <laughs> Going back to the Johnson administration, when there was a mandate that all um, households would have available Johnson & Johnson No More Tears shampoo. Right, famously. This does more to help working families since that landmark legislation, you know, over 50 years ago. I do think also that my comments saying that this is one of the greatest uh, uh, bills, obviously, I'm putting a positive spin on it. There were some real sons of bitches that shot down 15 bucks an hour. And I will not forget that, especially in the cafeteria of the United States Senate when I'm down there. And there's what? There's six, seven, or eight even Democratic senators that really mm -hmm. flopped on that one. We had it. We had it. We had 15 bucks an hour. So, you know, it's going to come back to bite them in their fucking dicks. Here's what's going to happen. They're going to they're <laughs> keep shooting down 15 bucks an hour, and meanwhile, inflation keeps ticking up. By the time we pass the necessary upgrade for a, li a minimal living wage in this country, guess what, fuckos? It's going to be 25 bucks an hour. So, yeah, okay, sure, you know, stall, install, install, keep people poor, keep people poor, keep people poor. We're going to rise up. I'm going to see it within my lifetime. 15 bucks an hour is no longer enough. It's going to be 25 bucks an hour, you sons of fucks. So Bernie's position pretty clear. Uh, a lot of good things in the bill, but also fuck around on the minimum wage and see what happens. Next, we have Mr. Pillow himself. How do you feel about this bill? Lyle, it's great to be here on the Lyle Love It and Leave It oh, program. It's my pillow because it's good. And I think go. with the I'm American people, the Democrats, the Antifa Commish Democrats, what they put out was a program that was pure communism when all this country needs is the microfibers that are targeted for people to be laid down on and sleep. And in the, in the shadow government run by Donald Trump, there was an alternate rescue package of $3 trillion put into, into my pillow and my pillow accessories, including my pillow sleep masks and my pillow fuck pillows. No, uh, fuck pillows. It's a fuck pillow. It's my pillow, but there's a little base to it and a little lump that you can think of. <laughs> you can think of as a pair of breasts or a beautiful, supple asshole, depending on what you want to do. Wow. That's an interesting product. One out of ten is pre-tested by me, Mike Lendell, in Minneapolis. Uh, okay. Uh... I know you're stunned there, Lyle. Let me tell you. I, I, you keep saying Lyle. I, I'm not Lyle. Lyle Lovett is just honestly, an unrelated Honestly, I think, I think you got nothing to be ashamed of, and I think that Julia Roberts really did you wrong. I think it was a shame what the late night guys did to you, and if you want, I'm happy to take you down to a, 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 a there's a Lovett barbecue. I want to take you, bring you out, you know, hit the pipe, have some barbecue, run around underneath the freeway. What happened was a disaster. Joe Biden, the false president, the Pope in exile. There's he's the he's the Babylonian exile of the papacy all rolled into one. He's a Benedict Arnold, and let me tell you, there's a fake government that's putting billions and billions of dollars in into Antifa. They're giving $19 trillion to Ecuadorian pedophiles. What? The whole thing, I have a newsletter. I'll send it to you <laughs> if, you're, if you don't believe it. I have an email newsletter, mypillow.pillow. You sign up for it, and it has multicolored text fonts so you can know you can believe it. And when you scroll all the way down to the email, 
there's a bunch of animated animated American flag gifts and okay. eagles swooping in to tear apart uh, uh, to tear apart a young protester and it's and it's just it comes with the quality information that's okay to forward to anyone over 65 and get it out there in the forwarded email chains uh, Mike, Mike there's a lot to unpack there but but I mean you must you must not have a problem 85 percent of households will get fourteen hundred dollar stimulus checks that has to be you know and, and 1400 for each dependent child surely you know that's something you're that's something that uh, donald trump supported this reminds me of propaganda coming out of nicaragua back when ronald reagan was president 1400 dollars every child's gonna get a slap on slap on the ass they're gonna get to meet big bird and snuffleupagus let me tell you i've met big bird and snuffleupagus i slept overnight at the minnesota fairgrounds right there in between saint paul and in Minneapolis. I didn't realize I, they had accommodations. I, I talked to Snuffleupagus for 18 hours. We shared a, we shared a pipe. You know, you got wow. a, Yes, we shared a pipe. I, I, talk, no, I know what I know the fantasy. And let me tell you what's really going to happen. What's really going to happen is that there's $10 billion that's going to go to excavate the body of Dr. Seuss, Ted, Ted Geisel, and they're going to parade it around the country and kick him while he's dead and down one more time. That's what these centrist, far-left, <laughs> communist, liberal, Democrat, socialists want to do. I got to let... I got to let Senator Sanders have a moment to get in here. I mean, what, you know, look, there was a fight with the moderates. They reduced the unemployment insurance from 400 to 300, but they made the first 10,000 unemployment benefits tax-free for households. Do you feel that was an acceptable compromise, Senator Sanders? Well, first of all, I want to say that Mike Lindell is insane. And <laughs> I, in protest, I have boycotted not only his My Pillow product, but also all pillows all together. I've never really enjoyed pillows. I've spent most of my life sleeping on couches in various faculty offices and, and union basements. <laughs> I sleep, I've slept in the back of a Volvo more than I am familiar with the comforts of a twin, let alone queen, a king size bed. So, you know, it's not much for me. You know, I'm a little bit more comfortable now as a United States Senator. I do, I sleep on a very comfortable cot on the floor of my Senate <laughs> office when I'm in DC. Jane comes over and goes, Bernie, you look like shit. She dumps cold ice water on me. She comes in with cold ice water. Well, yeah, that's just, you know, that's that's how she says hello. She dumps cold ice water on me. That's how we, you know, that's like bathing a dog. But I, I'm not, I am no longer using pillows after watching the insanity that Mike Lindell and the MyPillow, you know, let's face it, they're MyPillow Nazis, that they have unleashed on this once great country. So I'm not, I'm sleeping like a Klingon. I am, I am sleeping like a populist left-wing Klingon on a <laughs> just a hard just a hard floor just to prove that I don't need a pillow it's not about my pillow it's about our pillow <laughs> and until everybody has the comfort of this to sleep with a you know shelter and a living wage and yes adequate unemployment go fuck yourselves you moderate Democrats then I think my pillow is not the solution it's our pillow and uh, Lyle, one, one if I could jump in there, Lyle, <laughs> oh, no. would you? Yeah, get in there. Go, go ahead, Mike. <laughs> what you heard is taken straight from a Joseph Stalin speech. I don't know how you people can hear this communist say that kind of thing and not start gassing up the tanks to make another try at Moscow. Mike, I'm going to need you to give me some. Sp I need to let you let Senator Sanders finish what he's saying. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've offered you the space to come talk here. And I need you to give the space to Senator Sanders. I oh, thank you, oh, thank you, Lyle. I, 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 I'm not Lyle. I've never been Lyle. I agree with Senator Sanders on that. Is that he fight like we agree that that the music of this country, the country music of patriotic career, was was cut short uh, due to an unfortunate <laughs> hairstyle. Let's put it this way, from one six to another six, let me tell you, Lyle Lovett, if you score big, that's your prerogative. I just, look, I, obviously Bobby, we're Bobby a little bit Brown, off topic. And Bobby Brown was a great <laughs> friend of mine. And I, I look we're forward off topic. to seeing him. Bobby Brown was a great friend of mine. Jesus Christ. What a life you've led. Believe me, Senator, you're no Bobby Brown. Listen. We're way off topic here. What I want to say he's, quick. He's he's trying. Well, he's. I don't know if you noticed this, uh, Lyle. He's attempting to do. <laughs> look, I thought. I thought. Oh, he corrected me. I'm willing to admit that I'm wrong. <laughs> 
He's he's trying to do a uh, um a nineteen eighty eight uh, what's his name the Texas guy. Uh, he <laughs> was caucus? attempting. Oh, no, the that's... vice presidential candidate. Oh, Quail, Quail, uh, oh, uh, no. uh, Mondale, Mondale. Close, Who close. You're about? close. Who Rodney, are you talking about? They, they, there was a, that's a Minnesota reference. You got a bond deal in there. So I, I've obviously lost control here. A couple points. I think you're right. I think some of the humor directed at Lyle Lovett is worth a reexamination. I think we've begun to do that about some of the harsh rhetoric of the 1990s. I think that's an important step we should take. I'm not Lyle Lovett, and that's fine. Great deal of admiration for Lyle Lovett. Uh, uh, Senator Sanders, thank you. You've made some very important points about the bill. Uh, Mike Lindell, um, you're doing whatever that you're you're on your own path. Uh, before I let you both go, uh, is there I'm anything? On a, I am on a path of exploration where I'm I'm opening up myself to the spirits and the great shamans. Not only the one that walked, marched on Washington, who I now believe in as a religious figure, but also you know I I I, I, I I'm, I'm opening up and exploring great empathies for great right wing movements of the past. Whether it's St. Paul taking the beautiful poetry of our Jesus Christ and turning it into and turning it into a a cult, a, a misogynist cult of hate, or or whether it's other tremendous right wing figures that have robbed the hallucinatory poetry of the human species, I'm there and I'm learning new and new untold levels of of right wing hateful empathy. Mike, uh, uh, before I let you go, and I can't believe I'm asking this, is there anything you'd like to plug? What Senator Sanders was reaching for and he didn't get it was Lloyd Benson. And Lloyd yes, Benson? Was... God damn it. I am embarrassed to my core that Mike Lindell remembers that before. Right? <laughs> but let me, uh, here's what I've got to plug in. This is going to be, your, this is going to throw you for a loop. It's my pillow. Okay. My pillow, it's All soft right. and uh, firm, oh, like great. a goddamn pillow should be. You can fluff it. You can you can cut it up into little. Sh- Look, I take cookie cutters that are in the shape of little sheep, and I put I, I cut out little sheep, ninety nine sheep out of one my pillow, and I roll around in it, and I. We're gonna have to, to cut his mic. Sheep. We're gonna have to cut his mic. We're cutting Don't his. Don't you cut? Look, you, you want to cut my mic, I'll cut my mic. Meaning I'll cut myself, Mike Lindell. I'm not afraid to hurt myself and let the organs and blood and bile spill out Jesus. into a special edition my pillow that will be sold like Beanie Babies. <laughs> Mike Lindell, always a pleasure. Uh, Senator Sanders, obviously... Ah! <laughs> and look, I'm sorry about Julia Roberts, but you know, hopefully you two can get back together. Senator Bernie Sanders. Thank you for my time. I yield the balance of my time <laughs> to the memory of Ro- Rosa Luxemburg. James Adomian, thank you so much. This is very fun. Hugga, 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 hugga. Thanks, guys. Thanks, folks. Thanks.